I try and hang myself. Are you okay? Ah! Oh, don't tell me I've got to do tons of screwing. My wife tells me I'm no good at that. <laughs> well, hello, my young pooky little bear. I shouldn't have put young in there in absolute hindsight. Uh, but you'll notice that the different the, the beginning of this video was slightly different, wasn't it? So we're going to try out just a quick snip. You know, um, I've, I, I messed this up already. Let me... Man. Um, well, now I can't do it, so I'm going back. Um, so I guess I'll just do that bit again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Morning, you pooky little bear. Um, here's, excuse me, 10 seconds of what to expect in this video. Right, that was, nailed it. So maybe we'll make that a little bit smoother over the next few videos. This one's, it's a bit, it's a bit weird because I started off, I, it's Sunday today. The wife and baby, baby, wife and son are at church. I've just finished at the gym and I was going to go fly the drone, but I thought let's, let's just get a few things set up. And we didn't finish, I didn't finish the video yesterday with the things that I wanted to get done because well, here's yesterday stuff, and then we'll come back to today, where we finish off everything we started yesterday. Because it was fun. <laughs> All right, yeah, filthy winky. Uh, I'm sorry for the placement, you know, being in this area. All right, that's not ideal, is it? All right, just getting some stretches in at the gym. It's Saturday, which obviously, obviously, don't normally film on Saturdays, but I was thinking today we've got a couple of funny things, like my wife's going to be going out wedding dress shopping with a friend and that means I'm going to have some time because it's during Rugi's nap. And since um, we looked on Fiverr yesterday for someone who could edit the clips for us, I found that, but now I have 13 hour plus long videos to go back through, get the clips out of to then send to this guy and have them uploaded. The, um, we're looking at also getting the Z Zapier, Zapier automation set up to auto post. Okay, well, in that case, you can just go down here. Yeah. The Zapier automation set up. But the dude messaged me back yesterday and said you need a third party to send it to TikTok or something, and to which I just replied, yeah, I'm pretty sure that app is called Buffer. I don't know, I didn't get much out of him. It's also, that was also late Friday coming into Saturday, his time, so I probably, I guess I'm not gonna expect anything until Monday. Um, but that would be cool to get set up. The flow would be, this would be, this would be so nice. So, wake up at 5 a.m take the dogs out, come back, spend like an hour, hour and a half editing the full video and extracting the like clips. I'll upload them to a Google Drive folder. folder. The team editing the videos will automatically take those, edit them, upload them to a different folder based on the different social accounts. And then the Zapier automation would pick those up and post them to the different social accounts at the right time. That would be, that would be ideal. Um, jeez. I guess I've been forgetting to do this one. I think this is probably going to be the first time that I've really outsourced part of this work. And I, like, I know, I know, I know, I know. I should have been doing something like this a long time ago for certain parts of it. But then you could also argue that because I haven't, I've been learning and I've been understanding more about what I enjoy doing, what I don't like doing and what I can hand off to someone else.
But I was, <laughs> I had, I've actually had a really good gym session this morning. But the annoying thing is, is that on Saturdays and Sundays, my Planet Fitness doesn't open until 7 a.m., which is about the time that Ruger wakes up. And I would like to be there for when he wakes up. So either, okay, <laughs> one thought is that I switch coming to the gym at 7.30 because on a weekday, that's the least busy. And I prefer it when it's less busy. I don't really like, it's just me being fussy. I don't really like working out in front of people that much. Not like anyone's watching me, of course. Um, so then I was looking at, like I drive past a couple of Genesis health clubs on the way to the gym. And I was looking at the prices of those. Those are $100 a month versus what I pay here, which is $10. And like you might think, oh, $100 isn't too bad. But when you go from paying $10 a month to $100, that's 10x what it costs. I don't know, maybe one day. But for now, we're not going to do that. The other thing is I bought this pendant thing. What's it called? Um, boy, rewind. Yeah, it's an AI pendant that, so you wear it, right, like a necklace, and then it records everything throughout the day. And I guess based on how you have it set up, you can record different parts and save different parts and it will analyze whatever is going on throughout your day. And I think it was like $60 to get in on the um, kind of like a Kickstarter type thing. So we got an update about that yesterday that the, the Mac app is ready to view. What am I doing? So I'll give that a review. Also got to put together the hard drive enclosure. I, do, I shouldn't be excited about that. I don't know why I'm excited. I'm weirdly a little bit excited. We'll get that done when Rugi goes to sleep and... Oh yeah. <laughs> I mentioned yesterday we're looking after my sister-in-law. Yeah, sister-in-law's dog, little cockapoo. I'm gonna switch so you're not staring at my crotch, creep. Little cockapoo and it's so badly matted that we're gonna shave it today. My initial thought is we shave a vest, shave it into a vest. So like cut around the sides and just leave straps over the shoulders and then hair on the belly and back. <laughs> and then depending on that, how that looks, we then transition that into just a fat mohawk. Keep the head long and then a mohawk all the way down the back. I've done that to her before and I did that to an old dog, like my wife's dog before her and I got together. That was a little Yorkie poo. <laughs> that looks so cool. <laughs> so I'll film that today. And then I think we're gonna go get breakfast this morning. I won't film it, but we're gonna get breakfast at this place. It's when my wife and I lived in this area, we would always see a guy spinning one of those signs. You know how like in American movies, you have someone spinning a big cardboard arrow. It was a dude doing that all the time. And we always just passed it kind of like thinking that was funny. One day we tried it. It was actually really good food. So we're going back there today. Get ourselves a fat American breakfast. I think, and that's, I don't know, I think that might be all I have for now. I don't want to eat all the gibberish I have for this morning. Oh, no. I think this is an amazing idea. I really, <laughs> of course I would. You, 
like let's say let's say we start to grow here right i would like to create a single account that's like i don't know for want of a better term we'll call it a fan account and you guys can submit clips you can take bits from my videos make your own type of videos and submit them we'll have someone review wherever that google drive folder is review the videos that come in there and then auto post those to this one account and then like we watch it grow so like i won't post any content to it it'll just be like you guys making videos and posting to it and i feel like that would be super cool to grow a single account as a group of us and you kind of get that feeling, that rush of watching something you've made do really well on social media. Because it's a cool feeling. And then, you know, if there are ever any earnings from that, we split it between the people who've submitted videos. Like, I won't take any, I mean, obviously it's gonna be a benefit to me because it's gonna be the, let's say, added exposure. You know, if we ever get to this place, right? The added exposure, but I'm, I, that's the only benefit that I would take from it. And then we'd share everything. I think that would be really cool. All right, a few more saucy stretches. So I'm gonna turn you off for this one. I try and hang myself at least every day. Just feel like it's really good for stretching out your body. I don't know if it really is that good. I read something about every human should be able to hang for two minutes straight. Wonder if that came from medieval times. But like, if I fully extend here, I like got backwards, it's fine. It feels crazy, but if I do it forwards, I'm like choking myself out. Okay, that'll do donkey. I normally do that at the beginning of my workout, but someone else is here, so doing it at the end. I think just go shower now. I think probably one of the grossest things I do that I'm weirdly okay with is not wearing like flip flops or some kind of shoes in the shower. All right, etiquette. I got this comment, which what? Uh, I'm like in this mode of making sure the sentence that I say comes out perfectly since it's going on a TikTok. Uh, but, and then I just like lose all train of thought. Oh, that's it. I got this comment that it was basically, you don't have ADHD, you're lying. I'm like, that's cool. I, re I don't care whether you think I have it or not. That's fine. Whether I have it or not, which I do. But I was thinking if you watch, if you just watch one of these videos, you'll see how just scatterbrained I am. Just how, it must be hard to follow. <laughs> like how hard it is to be able to focus on one thing at a time. And the other thing I saw, the MetaQuest 3, I mentioned that the other day and I seen, I've seen more and more videos and it has hand tracking as well. So you can, I thought you had to get like extra like wristbands or something. I feel like we should get it. I think I'll come up with, like, you know, living 24 hours in that would be, I think would be pretty cool. And like, let's say that the video, like, so $500, right? And let's say I'm currently working on an RPM on TikTok of about, I don't know, 
40 cents or something per thousand views. So that means, let's just call that 50 cents for now. To recover $500, I'd need to get a million views. And I feel like with a concept like living in virtual reality for 24 hours, I feel like that could do that. And then could easily make multiple videos of doing certain tasks in that world. Right? And then it's also a business expense. <laughs> so I might get it. And honestly, if it's trash, I'll just send it back. Sprinkle a bit of Gordon Ramsay in there. Yeah. This uh, pendant that I mentioned, I really, I was going through London Heathrow my way back from visiting family back to here when I, I think I was Carter PC's video on TikTok of him mentioning it. And so I bought it in the line going through security. And I did, I guess, it's one of those, it's an impulse purchase. I didn't really think too much about it, but I thought it would be kind of cool. And I'll figure out a way to use it. And you had to get on the wait list. So I kind of fell into the marketing trap, didn't I? Oh dear. I thought about saying something stupid, like, Rugi, are you ready to drive this German whip like it's stolen? Rugi, are you ready to ride this German whip like it's stolen? No, I'm just the getaway driver. But we're gonna to go to Sonic and get... I saw these new drinks they had. I think from the last video or one of the other videos, I think we've realized that I don't really drink caffeine. I love the taste of Red Bull. Absolutely love it, but I never buy it. One, because it's so expensive, and two, because I don't like the feeling that caffeine gives. But I am partial to these Red Bull mixed drinks that they have at Sonic. And if you're not from America and you're wondering what Sonic is, it is the, it's the epitome of fast food. I think like drive-in fast food. You pull into bays, either order from the app or you order from the a screen that's to your side the, as you pull up. What up, Rugs? And then they bring the food out to you, to your car, like literally to your window here. Some of them, or like it used to be, uh, let's go with this thing. It used to be that they would come out on roller skates, but I think probably health and safety rubbish killed that off. What do you think, Rugs? You agree? Yeah, he, yeah, he agrees. Uh, so this one is, I think they have three flavors. They have a, a blood orange, Dragon fruit and twisted lime. Dad. That was my phone. What, what, what's my name, Rugi? Dad. Dad, good job. Dad. What's up? Oh, you dropped it? Okay, well, I can't get it now. We'll have to get it when we get there. So you have to sit tight and be a big man. This one is a twisted lime flavor. Very partial to that. And What's up, Rugi? Uh, wait, uh, what's my name? Dad. Yes, Rugi, what's up? What do you want? Use your, we'll use your words. Do you mean more? Do you want some of your cheese crisps? Yes? Good boy, there you go. Uh, this one's Twisted Lime, and normally I would get it if I, if I weren't just doing it for a stupid kind of taste test I'm doing. I would normally get it with blue raspberry flavor, but we'll just go bare bones, okay? Go back to basics. Still $4 though. <laughs> and then we got muggins. Rugi, we got you a cup of ice. Do you want some ice? Okay, good boy. Doggies, Duda, Lila, do you want some ice? Good job we got you some ice too. Well, it's all Rugi's ice, but you can share, can't you, Rugs? Good boy. Mm. 
We used to, I was saying yesterday, talking about what we used to drink when we were in college. I think the kids in college now do a thing that they call Borgs. So they'll get a, uh, I think it's a gallon jug of water or some kind of juice or something. And then they'll just top that up with hard liquor. And that's what they'll carry around when they're partying. What's my name, Rugi? Yeah. Yes, Ruga. Are you done? Do you want more? No. You do want more? Okay. Okay, all right. Whereas on like a summer day, we would get a Route 44, they call them a Route 44, which is 44 ounces. It's a huge bloody cup. It's like this size and about that fat. Hey, hey, use your words. More? You want more? Okay. Here you go. Rugi, I don't know what you want. Do you want the phone? Yes or no? No, not the phone. Okay. Do you want... Do you want a sausage? Yes or no? No. Good. Yeah, that's a good answer. No is the right answer to that, I would have thought. Do you want ice? Yes, okay. I'm probably, someone's going to try and sue me for this, or at least cancel me. <laughs> wait, wait, you don't scream if you want something, do you? What do you want? Should we pull in? Okay, let me pull in. I can get my phone so I can check into my bay. And then we can get the ice. Okay, I'm just gonna lean over so you might see my cheeks. What did you do with my phone? Oh, excuse me. Where is it? Oh, I've got it. Do you want some water? How do you manage to get the timer on? It's funny, it's the 20 minute timer from the needle map. Ruger, that's naughty. Look, let me check in. A seven. What is it? Are you just done in the car? It's about close to your nap time, isn't it? What is it? I'll finish the thing that I'm going to get cancelled for when we get home, because... You be you be silly sausage. <laughs> okay, all right. What's going on? You want to get out? We can't get out yet, can we? We're, hey, we're still we're still driving. You want to get home and get out? Yeah. Are you tired, boy? All right. Let's stop this for now. I'll see you when we're home. Okay, don't, we don't really like doing this. He normally only gets to watch TV and stuff on a Friday. But every now and again when he's being a little sausage in the back of the car, we'll give him Miss Rachel. Um, the, I, d I did it again. I can't believe I did it again. The lady came into the car, gave me the drink, and she said, Have you tried that yet? Uh, I said, no, and I said, of you. And she said, no, I haven't either. And we kind of had this like weird pause. And I did it, I did it. I said, would you like to try this one? She said, no. That would have been, that would have been killer. That was a stupid phrase. That would have been so good with blue raspberry flavor as well. Like lime and blue raspberry is the go-to. It's all right. 
It's all right. Rugi, you gonna eat your ice? All right, I can say the cancel thing now. <laughs> yeah, I reckon uh, someone's probably gonna put me in jail, sue me, or I'll get canceled. But there is, I, sh I don't know what it is, but there is always some form of Hispanic family. I think they just spawn on the street corners of like shopping areas over here in America. They're like nicely clothed. They have their kids with them. Sometimes it's the whole family. Sometimes it's just the guy and the kids. Sometimes it's the lady and the kids. And they'll just sit there the whole day and just beg for money. I have an opinion on, I'm probably in a pretty privileged position to be saying this, but the way I see it, if I were homeless, I would try and provide some form of value to someone. I don't know, like, my form of that is maybe I uh, can, it might be something, let's say, useless. Like I can tell someone what happened in a certain book that I've just read. Or I learn how to do magic tricks, like with one deck of cards. And like small things, something that I think people can get some form of value from. So the trade-off is I'm providing some form of entertainment for money instead of just straight charity. Like I'm gonna stand here on this street corner until you give me money. There are lots of nuances to that, so Let's, let's, let's not go too deep. <laughs> oh, he did this, yes. Yeah, yesterday was Friday. Are you okay? <laughs> it's okay. Hey, it's okay, Rookies. Hey. I can't fast forward because it's for guided access. It's okay, Rookies. Did that scare you? Did that scare you? It's okay. I'll fast forward it. Hold on. Here we go. Hold on, Ruggie. Here we go. There we go. Dude, why do you do that? That's so funny. It's, um, I think like the Ugly Duckling song. And yesterday, yeah, he did it yesterday. Cried at it. Just did it again. Weird as that. You get a, an initial kick of lime, and then you get a little bit more. The final kick comes with the Red Bull, and that's what kind of sticks. Which is nice, because I like Red Bull. All right, you wanna give the doggy some ice? Uh. Yeah, hey, do da. What's up, Lila? Sorry, you gotta see the dogs, and I'm talking about my dogs. Okay. Give the doggy some food. Okay. Yeah, you wanna give them some ice? Uh. Okay, you wanna put a handful on the ground for them. Yeah. Uh. There you go, Eat. don't eat it all at once, doggies. All right, put it on the floor. Big handful. A big handful. Whoa! Look at is Duda eating it. Oh, Lila. Let's get in on the action, shall we? Look at Lila eating it. Silly Lila. Are you going to eat some as well? Let's get the let's get the audio in there. What are you doing with that? You wanna say something? Can you say can you say hi? Good job. Alright. Do you think it's time for a nap, Rugi? Ruga. You think it's time for a nap? 
Yeah, I think it's time for a nap. I'll, um, let's go put him down and then we'll put uh, our hard drive enclosure thing together. Look at this, I just look at this. What are you doing, misters? Hey, do you want to jump off into here? Yes. Yeah, all right, let me hold your eyes for you. Uh -huh. You want to take a quick bit? Let me hold it for you. And then you jump off. Good job. All right, can you jump off? <laughs> Good girls. Oh my, go on then. Go on, psycho. Whoa! <laughs> nice job. Okay, do you want your ice? All right, actually, Rugi, it's nap time. We need to go to nap time. Are you going to do it again? Oh my gosh. Can you give that to mummy? No, leave that, Rugi. Give that to mummy. Oh, Blood I have these. Thanks, save. Bubba. Don't touch it. <gasps> Should we shave Lila? Yeah? Uh, no, don't touch it, Ruga. Ruga! <laughs> don't touch it, please. Don't, don't touch it, honey. Uh, Ruga, get your hands off the camera. Hey, no nose. You better not be the little sausage touching it. Do you want to see yourself? Oh, oh my finger marks. gosh. Oh, my finger marks on it now. Oh, well, thanks. All right, come over here. Okay. All right, I'm putting so. What do you think you're doing? Socks on so that you don't have to see my gammy feet. Hey, Rugies. Get. Hey, hey, that's not safe, buddy. Get down, please. Hi, Duda. Ruger, that's not safe. Sit. Get over here. Get over here. <coughs> yeah, let's sit. Hey. Hey, are you going to help us? <laughs> oh, my. That's a fit boy, isn't it? All right. So no. I get scissors? <coughs> yes. Give you the scissors for daddy. Get daddy the dog scissors. Yeah, but make sure, be, be grab the sharp careful. end. Be very careful. And is there the brush in there? Uh, there's oh, the scissors. There's oh, there's the brush, Rugi. Give those to daddy. Be careful walking with those, okay? Can I have those, please? Good job. Thank you. Can you get the brush? You, you can see help the, brush Lila's? The green brush down there? Oh, oh. my goodness. Good girl, Lila. Good job. Are oh, you brushing, Lila? Be careful. <laughs> well, I have to put Duda downstairs. <laughs> Duda, you're no, a pain in the backside. The on. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, <laughs> that's what it was so hard with Duda. Duda, go downstairs, please. Oh, do you want to go on the deck? Ruga, you cannot have those. I'm sorry. Ruga, those are ouchies, honey. Here, I need help. Can you scratch Lila's belly? No. Right, go on, Can go you scratch deck. Lila's belly? Good you. Good girl. No, you good can't have girl. this. Yeah, there you go. Can you help brush? Fly. Good Don't girl, move. Duda. You wait there. Good girl. <laughs> Is that you, Rugi? Rugi, you're ruining the shot, bud. Good girl, Alice. Oh my gosh. Rugi, I need to leave do it. it. I feel like Ruga. <laughs> Come sit down over here. The audio is just Duda barking. You and I look at something like this and we're like, oh, that's kind of a nice thing to do together, but we both concentrate so hard <laughs> that we don't talk to each other. I think you can just stop recording on that video. And just press the red button and then... Just, li this is... Like, I've seen dragonflies before, but I've never seen an actual dragon that flies. Look at that! You are huge. Ah. That was a bird, wasn't it? That was a bird. I'm convinced that was, no, that was Khaleesi. There, that was Khaleesi. All right, let's drive in. It's literally like five seconds since I finished the last blurb, so we're gonna carry on. And so the dog is like, pretty much done with shaving just needs tidying up before i can show you can't unveil that yet next thing is the let's get this bad boy set up this is the uh, the case for the hard drive once again 
I don't know why I was ever excited about this because it's it's there's nothing exciting about it. Ah, sorry, dude. It's just a box, and then when it's set up, I just transfer all my files to it, and that's that. What I am excited about is the fact that I won't have to be thinking about checking the space on my hard drives. I'll just have a system set up for this. That brings me on to automations. So, uh, we'll get, I think we should get an automation set up, which I think is pretty easy on a Mac, to copy everything from anything I did that day, all of that gets copied over to this. Yeah, I'm not really, I feel like I shouldn't just be pulling that. But the automations um, for the clips, the Zapier guy replied to me yesterday and he quoted me about, he quoted me 250. He said it was very complex. I have no idea. I think I'm going to try and get him down to 200. But then once he has that set up, that's an initial 200 or $250 outlay. And then our monthly cost will be 600 for the video editing. Which, I th which is doable, and if not, I just either cut back on the number of clips that this guy can do, or his team can do, um, or something else, which I don't really know. <laughs> and Or just like use that time that I would be spending on that to make more videos to generate enough revenue to pay for those things. All right, so this looks like it's the, hello? Oh, don't tell me I've got to do tons of screwing. My wife tells me I'm no good at that. Instruction Manuel. Should we, let's talk about the intro to this video, or these videos, because we know that we're not playing the retention game here. We're not trying to make people want to stay for the whole video, right? We're not trying to like flashy text, transitions, all this other stuff. We're just, we're just doing what we can. But there's a little, oh good, it's all in Chinese. <laughs> um, this, this, Really, really do that. I... There has to be an English section, surely. Yeah, here we go. Just happens welcome to the page. Yeah. So I don't want to do, I don't want to do any edits to this, right? It's just, it just film what it is, it is what it is. But, uploading to YouTube, the title has to be clickable, the thumbnail has to be clickable or eye-catching, and then the first few seconds has to give the viewer an idea of what they are to expect. So if the thumbnail is like, let's use the needle mat series. If the thumbnail is me doing something with the needle mat and the video starts off with me in the car, people are gonna think, oh, that's clickbait. Nothing happens here. But if I start off with, here's a 10 second preview of what's to come, just some quick clips, and then we just like do the video as is. I think we'll try that out and see how that goes. Yes. And I, I, honestly, you know, while that is uh, that is good from the retention perspective, it is let's push here. There we go. From a retention perspective. Uh, I don't even know what I was going to say there, but I think that's the move. So we'll be do doing that from now on. Now I bought two renewed hard drives. So each of these are 14 terabytes and 
they've been renewed, which means they were like half the price. They still come with a guarantee. Sorry, that I didn't buy them because they were cheaper. I bought them because I'm here for the planet, because I wanted to recycle things. Get off. Right. Do I have to screw you in? There's a little board at the back. I don't know if you can see some like connections at the back. And I imagine that those slide into there. So I, does that go down or up? That goes down, doesn't it? I love this tool I bought. I bought this for my FPV when I was, I was trying to build an FPV drone a long time ago, but it's such a pain in the ass. I didn't enjoy it. And it wasn't that much more expensive just to buy one that was pre-made. So I didn't really ever actually make, oh gosh, my own drone, but this screwdriver has, is not plugged in. <laughs> there we go. Why am I so shaky? You're, it's, it's you. You're making me nervous on camera, and this is great because this screwdriver is too fine. That one's better. Does it have a booches? Yes. But it doesn't have very much, I think the word I'm looking for is talk. So when things get tough, it kind of just gives up, so you kind of just half do it manually. A bit weird, isn't it? I didn't, from those clips yesterday, the lime Red Bull I got, I'm hanging out with Rugi. I'm putting stuff in the washing machine. I turn around and he stood there next to me with the drink in hand. <laughs> I hear <him> going. Because <laughs> he's just taken a sip. I think I didn't need to say because he's taken a sip. I think we probably gathered that, didn't we? This, this is actually a perfect example of the iterative process that I preach and don't shut up about. So I could just start doing the other hard drive and get it connected all in here. But what I should do is make sure that this one works first, that I put it in the right way. It sounded like it connected, but it's not in as far as the others. So I plug it in and see. Let's open this curtains. Yeah. Oh dude, I came down and played some Fortnite last night, so because I was looking after Ruger. Let me explain this and then I'll explain it a little bit further. So my story, I was playing Fortnite last night and I took this picture and <laughs> it's so basic. Like I think beforehand, like before I, I changed to not really caring what people think and just kind of making content for the sake of it and not trying to impress people, I would have like cleaned up my desk, got everything looking perfect. Uh, got all my lights turned on, obviously cleared the table. And I've been like, how cool does this look? Look how cool I am. <laughs> Unemployed, playing video games on a Saturday night 
while my wife puts the baby to bed. <laughs> Embarrassing. Uh, should I just, I'll do a temporary setup of this. But I thought it was funny because I've never seen someone like playing, like, who is it? I think his name is Jinxy. Is his name? He's a streamer. And he, he's got some like old crappy dining chair that looks like it's got ass stains all over it. And I'm starting to realize that actually people, they don't want all the, I mean, it's more relatable. Like I'm not doing this because I think it's more relatable, but I'm, you're starting to see this trend of people wanting things that are more relatable in life. And when I game, if I, you know, whenever I do game, it's just on a, I don't care what the room looks like. Yeah, it's nice to have the lights light up. And it's nice, the idea of having like a cool gaming setup. But I don't need it. Like, don't get me wrong. If my wife and I, if, if things go better than they are right now, like, and then there's, let's say, more money that comes in, we start making more money, and we stay in this house, would I like to turn that area down there, like that room behind this door, into a, like a gaming room for guys that are virgins? Yes. And I would, you know, I'd like that, I'd like using it. But, I, I don't, I wouldn't be doing it out of, I need this cool place so people think I'm cool. I would just feel, I would feel super cool, just in there gaming, even though that's probably like the opposite of cool. Oh, so it, it's been recognized, allow. Allow it, fam. Uh, the disk you attached was not readable by this computer. Initialize. J micron generic. So I should uninitialize. I don't really know what that means, but let's. Um, I don't. What is this called? Big store, big boy one, big boy with an I, one. Guid part, guid. Yeah, I don't really know. It's funny, and um, so this has raid. Now, I don't know what that means. I, I think I had a class in college that kind of went over security and backup and whatnot, but I do not remember what any of it means. So, yeah, I don't know what that means. Oh, look, it's good. I've, I've already used 1.6 gig though, so that's, that's, that's really good. What did you do with my 1.6 gig? All right, so <laughs> on the feedback loop, that iterative process, we have proven that what we've been doing works. So now we continue with the rest of it. You know, I didn't, there were, there were lots more of these hard drives available and I can fit five in here but I actually didn't want to buy, I did want to buy five, let's, <laughs> let's be real here. But I decided that at the moment I don't need five and if I wanted to buy five, that would have cost me another $450 more. I don't need that yet, so there's no point spending that money. In my opinion, I'll just do it when the time comes and storage is always gonna get cheaper. Always, like that's the, I think that's the kind of crazy thing. Like, let me show you something, hang on. 
these hard drives, so this is two terabyte and SSD. I think these only run at 500 megabits, megabytes per second, whereas these run at five gig a second, six gig a second. So that's 12 times faster than this one. I think this was 300. I got it on sale for maybe 200. I bought them a couple of years ago, got a couple of these. But isn't that, now I think you can get these for maybe $99. But it's amazing how the cost of these storage solutions just keeps decreasing as faster and bigger options become available. All right, now I don't want to ruin this by just sliding the drive straight in, but we're going to anyway. And it lit up blue. And it's making noises. Come on, boss man, what are we saying? You know, when you're listening to some guy who's like, like a, a TikToker who's listening to music for the first time and that's their, like that's what they do and they're sat there going. Like as the bass hits, yeah. Oh, so it, it ejected itself. Now it's back. I imagine I need to format it again. So what am I going to do? I'll erase. I guess if I buy another drive, then I'm going to have to take out the ones that have stuff on them, insert the new one, and then erase it, which is essentially formatting it so that the Mac can read it. Done. Hmm. Erase. Big, I don't know, boy two. So right now it has, so in my disk utility, it's showing that we have two different drives. It'd be really annoying if this, this showed up on my Mac as two different hard drives, so then every time I have to select which drive I want to save something to. Yeah, that's annoying, because that's what it's showing as right now. Hard drive installation, we've got you there. Set up RAID. Okay, so we've formatted, connect, we've connected, formatted, removed, Um, make sure to stop reading or writing files first. Right click on the device icon on the desktop and select remove in the pop-up window. Really? Are you sure? Okay. Okay, right click. It says remove. There is no remove. Okay. Initialize and format new drives. That is Mac. Right click on the unallocated new drive. I feel like I haven't done this right. Because this is showing us up as two drives, which I don't want. I want it to be just one. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, let me just read this. Okay. So it has the Windows notes. If your drive you're using is not larger than two terabytes. If the drive is larger than two terabytes, the GPT partition style is style is needed, or you will only get two terabytes of storage available. Do I? It looks like I need to connect them all together. Your boy Dano. Divide a device into multiple partitions of volume. No, that's not what I want, is it? See, I don't really know what this means. Run first aid, rename, unmount, eject, convert, erase versus restore, eject, unmount, rename. What? See. Do I need to set up RAID? Oh, yeah. Before setting the RAID mode, please ensure that the hard drive enclosure is in normal mode. If not, Jiminy Christmas. What are you doing? They're like flashing red and pink and blue and not blue. Like this one's blue, this one's not. know what to do. I can do it like this. Do I just start filling them up one by one? In which case I don't need the second one in there at the moment, do I? So I could just like No, probably the wise decision is to like have everything sent to one of the drives and use the other drive as a backup. That's the sensible thing to do, isn't it? Oh, I'm not, I am not setting that up today. I'm just gonna get everything onto, oh, I should do, shouldn't I, but. Oh. I miss times with these type of bags. I'm just kidding, I've never done cocaine. I never will do cocaine. wise idea is it the bag I feel like the bag can stay in there with the screwdriver yeah and then the rest of this rubbish go into a box I think I'm gonna put this over there because and I need a longer USB-C cable because it's kind of noisy I'll tell you something that I think Mac, like Apple did so, so well 
is this. All right. This is the uh, Mac. For those of you who don't have Macs, this is the a very special part, an integral part to a Mac charger. This is essentially like the box, like this thing, the converter on a normal laptop. So a normal laptop has a fat one of these, the cables come in and both ends, right? Like one end is gonna go into your device, the other end goes into the wall for power. Whereas Apple decided that they would make this a, they would give it more functionality. So. This is the part that then leads straight into the laptop, and this is the part that leads into the wall. So you could either put just the plug on it, so I've got a UK adapter here, and then that goes straight into the wall, so you don't need the, the other long cable, or you can have the long cable that comes from here and goes into the wall. Which means that this, I think subconsciously, the person realizes that this is now not just a useless black box that they have to carry around, it's now a piece of flexibility, or it gives them more flexibility. I think they see this as a, an advantage over a disadvantage. Apple, you are very smart. Very, very smart. Smart people. Okay. I am in a bit of a, a mess over here. So I should clean up. What did I do? What did I do with the all the adapters? Like I wonder if this is one of those instances where you're watching and you're being like, it's like a Blue's Clues video. You're like, it's over there! Because like you remember it because you're far smarter than I am. Uh, I literally don't know where it is. Let's clean everything else up first. So, disconnect you bad boys, your batties. And then I'm going to connect you up over, oh gosh. I could put you on the floor. I'll just put you up there for now. God, it's so, it's actually really heavy for what it is. I just got a text. Did you, did you hear that? I definitely heard a text come through. I heard the ding, but there is no text that has come through, apparently. Alright, so that is there. I need to get a big, big USB-C cable. And if it also got to be pretty long. I could do USB. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> do not, do not. Okay. I thought I've been plugging in a USB USB adapter that I hadn't actually been plugging in. So the USB has all the um, other plugs in it. I, don't, I feel like I'm too deep now, I have to actually explain it. This, right, so it has all of these and I was looking at this thing, which has a adapter in the bottom I was like, that doesn't look like the right USB that's plugged in the bottom of there. And I was wondering if I've just plugged in one of those devices thinking that I plugged in the adapter because they haven't been working. There it is. 
So why didn't you tell me it was over there? You are so annoying. You really grind my gears, you know that? Yeah, I think we have to go USB-C and I've got an extra long one here. Dude, look at the size of this bloody receipt that I got from CVS. I bought one thing and this is it. I'll put this on like a flipping cape. Like that. CVS man is coming to the rescue. It's going to bring you overpriced rubbish. Okay, but seriously, what coupons do I have? $4 off the next purchase. Oh, $4 off Revlon makeup. 30% off Claire's, 2% off, sorry, $2 off of some other makeup. $4 off $24 of any beverages. Oh, perfect. $2 off $6 LA Girl makeup. Oh, keep that one. Idiot. Um, what was I doing next? I was going to get a long USB-C. I bought this Oculus off of a kid on kid, a guy on Craigslist a while back. Really nice dude. Uh, and I've used it like five times maybe. Which reminds me, I think I'm just going to order the Meta Quest 3 today. And then make some videos with it. I feel like it's actually kind of a dangerous, like I have my initial thoughts. I feel like it's kind of a dangerous tool. That people have to now, like let's say we're doing a mundane task, a boring task you don't really want to do it, how do you, how do you get by doing it? You stick on the MetaQuest 3, a headset, so that you can watch YouTube while you do this task. And now you're no longer living life through your own actual eyes, you're living it through a screen. Dude, life is going to be mental in the coming years. Life is going to be absolutely freaking nuts. All right, so the drive, really annoying how loud it is. I'm probably going to have to move that somewhere else. But it is on, plugged into my laptop. Is it going to show up? Oh, I have to then plug the thing then into my laptop. Come on, you beauty. Come on. Yes! Kapow! All right, that's good. That's good. Okay, a little cleanup to do. And then I'll probably go and fly the drone when maybe when Ruggie's sleeping a bit later. We'll see. That's set up. I've got to start getting the clips exported into the Google Drive folder. Try and haggle with the, the Zapier Automations guy. Dude, I am feeling, I am feeling good. I think, I think we're in a good spot. I think we're really making some moves here. You know, the, the, the cool thing as well is that just kind of talking out loud and then posting this is making me, making me, um, a bit more accountable because up until this I could make I could make three videos in a day and then not work for a week and no one would know or like I could say to myself you know what let's let's knuckle down and get this 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 and this and this <laughs> done this week and I only actually do one of them because I just couldn't be bothered or I felt like something came up but it's like a, a way of keeping me honest 
Okay. All right, let me try and haggle with this dude, get some clips made. And then show you the dog later. Yeah, that mohawk, it's, it's looking ridiculous at the moment. I didn't realize how skinny she was under this. You know what, I'm gonna show you right now. Lila! Lila! This is the chimpy looking dog that I was talking about. Come here, Lilas! Good girl, Lila! Hey, good girl, what do you look like, dude, Lila? What is that? Good girl, she's so cute, isn't she? You see that mohawk? Oh, yeah! That's a good mohawk, Lila. Look how she sits, lies down. Hi, Lilas! Lila! Lila! And there's Duda. What up, Duda? What up, Duda? Hi, Lilas. What up, Duda? You wanna say hi? Good girl. Okay. Yeah. You got the idea now. All right, let me do this before the wife and baby get home. All right, just put Ruger down. Can you get ready for sleep? I have no idea if that drone footage was usable. So either you had enjoyed it, or you and I are talking and we haven't watched any drone video because it was that bad. <laughs> I'm hanging, I'm getting down over here. What the heck, Lila? Yeah. All right, well. Make sure you have a drink. Time for bed. So, see you um, Monday, which is tomorrow. Okay, bye. Oh, I forgot Duda. Absolute psycho. I think she was trying to protect Rugi. Mental, yeah?